question about what the in-demand layout is in the caravanning world at the moment. It's the permanent end bedroom with the posh island bed and the centrally situated washroom. When you add that to a big twin axle caravan that's packed with features, that shows a lot of promise. Let's have a closer look at the new Lunar Delta TR and see if it lives up to that promise. Well, there's no fancy acronym-laden new construction methodology involved with this one. It's a timber-framed, aluminium-skinned caravan of the old school. And generally speaking, it's uh, very nicely made, well uh, presented, well finished off. Did have one or two little niggles with this particular vehicle, namely one of the, uh, the exterior access hatches with the rubber seal was coming off completely and the one on the opposite wall looked like it was going the same way. These disappointing lapses aside, it's such a very nice place to be, good quality uh, woodwork and uh, nice surroundings to be in. This is a big twin axle caravan that weighs nearly 1600 kilograms before you've even loaded it with anything. So obviously you're going to need a towing vehicle of a certain stature. Having said that, towing a twin axle caravan is a near joyous experience. You've got a huge big footprint on the road thanks to these uh, four wheels. Stability is excellent and with this one you even get the backup of the Alco ATC electronic traction control system and the expected hitch stabiliser. The downside is that uh, you'll never be able to move a twin axle caravan by hand when you arrive on site, so a motorised mover is a near essential purchase with one of these. If you spend more than £29,000 on a caravan, you're going to want to spend some time in it and the new Luna really doesn't let you down in that regard at all. This is a, a, a lovely lounge, very compact, but extremely luxurious. Four good corners, big comfy bolsters. It's a really nice place to be. And the, the decor is very elegantly restrained as well, so it won't date five or six years uh, down the line. Practicality too, the front chest extends by pulling out a huge big sky view sunroof up there, lets in a whole lot of daylight. There's an absolute abundance of storage. Loads of space under the sofas where I'm sitting here and also under the double bed in the bedroom which is accessible from uh, exterior hatches on uh, either side. Connectivity is brilliant, there's loads of main sockets everywhere you'd expect to find them and as, as well as that there's a, a couple of USB sockets as well so that reduces the number of chargers that you need to bring with you. The main draw with uh, the, the new Delta is obviously this uh, end bedroom here with the island bed, adjustable in either day mode, where it pushes back a bit to give you some walk around space at the base, or as seen here, fully extended. Very beige, not an awful lot of room, but uh, what it lacks in space, it certainly makes up for in specification. It's a really well equipped little room with uh, two windows and a nice big uh, sunroof. Nice big uh, bedside table for each occupant. His and her wardrobes, which are illuminated. Nicely lit, including a pair of adjustable reading lights. And uh, you get speakers for the stereo CD as well, albeit that you will have to go to the lounge if you want to uh, switch it on or off. Uh, the bed itself is an absolute peach. It's wonderfully supportive and comfortable. You get a great night's sleep on this one. The centre washroom does enhance this caravan's four berth credentials quite considerably. It makes it much more accessible for anyone who may be uh, guesting up front. And uh, they get a good bed as well, very easily made up from uh, two panels that pull out from underneath the sofa so you don't have to wrestle with any slats. And uh, even at this time of year, it's a lovely warm caravan all day and all night long thanks to a, a really commendably quiet um, central heating nighttime setting. There's really nothing to dislike about this uh, kitchen. It offers plenty of work stuff for us, even before you've brought into play the uh, additional fold-up uh, panel that gives you even more. Storage is good too, with uh, lots of uh, big floor-level cupboards for your biggest saucepans and some pull-out racking and two drawers to choose from as well. Cooking-wise, you've got the electric hot plate on the, the hob and a separate uh, grill and oven. There's a fitted microwave too, which might just be a little high up for some people's uh, liking. Um, the fridge underneath that is, uh, looks really nice and sleek with its uh, LED panel on the front, cool lighting inside, and it offers a decent capacity too. So you won't feel shortchanged with the kitchen in this one. 
Well, there's no arguing with the flexibility that this uh, design of uh, washroom offers. It closes off from either the uh, the bedroom ahead of me, courtesy of uh, a pair of sliding doors either side of this uh, central vanity unit, or from the, the rest of the car van by a domestic style door just here. So it's equally accessible to either uh, occupants, front or rear. And the washroom itself, very uh, well featured with the Belfast style sink that certainly looks very attractive, but it's actually a little bit on the plasticky side. Nice uh, surround uh, lighting with the big mirror here, and there's a main socket just on the other side of the wall so you can get your hair straighteners plugged in. And the cylindrical uh, shower compartment is a, is a goodie. It's definitely an adult sized one with uh, plenty of room to move around in, and plenty of room too for all your lotions and potions, which is very good to see. It's so often neglected in a shower. It's also decently lit, and with that uh, tile effect panel, attractive as well. The loo is over on the offside, which will please regular awning users and there's loads of storage as well with uh, three cupboards including uh, an overhead one above the window so it's a, a, a very competently done facility So the main function of the lighting, to let you see what you're doing, is really very well taken care of on board. But it's all the, uh, the little extra that makes such a difference. For example, you have a service light on the offside wall and on the, uh, the A-frame shining into the, uh, the gas locker, which is a very thoughtful, practical touch. Similarly, the, uh, the wardrobes, when you open them, the courtesy light comes on. And elsewhere, the kitchen is bathed in light, thanks to an LED strip that runs the entire width of the, the work surface. And there's an overhead light as well, a, a push-button lamp. But when it comes on, it's actually really bright in its intensity. There's two of those on board. And the, uh, the, the washroom is operated by a pull cord, which is good. Brings on a really tastefully done uh, backlighting to the big mirror in there. And the separate shower cubicle has its own lamp too. So, a uh, literally shining performance from Lunar in this regard. Well, the new TR enters the, uh, the top end of the caravanning food chain, which is crammed full of an awful lot of good caravans. So, it does have its work cut out. Having said that, it's a lovely lounge, lots of equipment, nice space inside, and do like the end bedroom as well. So, if that's your bag, go and have a look at it at the showroom.